What's up, y'all? How you live? Just coming to you for a moment. To talk to you for a little bit. Just for a little bit. Today is... You know, it's just one of them days. One of them days. Hey, Mr. B. Today is... Y'all know my grandma passed in January who been rocking with me for a minute. My grandmother passed in January. And today would have been her birthday. So I thought that I would be able to um, just move through that energy today. I was going to be more... You know, still vibing, but sometimes that energy comes in hard and you have to take a step back from some things. And I just had to monitor my feelings today, y'all. I ain't cry nothing, but it's my grandma. <clears throat> just in deep thought, you know. That's it. So, another thing happened today, me and up. Uh, um, had to go to Pops. Had to go to go out today. Pick up some things. He got to go to work tomorrow. And, um, y'all, let me tell you about resonation of things. Money is attracted to me. Let me tell y'all why I say that. Mr. Be Gone. Let me tell y'all why I say that. When you get to the point where you are not afraid to spend. You are not afraid to go get. You are not afraid to resonate in that type of energy. You're going to notice when you spend, it's going to automatically come back because it wants to be with you. It loves to be with me. When I, I can only talk about me. Y'all know that. Money is my friend. I ain't afraid to spend it. I ain't afraid to have it. I'm not afraid to not have it. None of that. It's just resonating with me. So we went out and we spent a little bit. I had to spend a couple of dollars on things and snacks. Soon as I paid the cashier, went outside. The same money I spent came right back to me like a boomerang. Okay. Went to um, just vibe out with my husband and go get a little lunch spent and it resonated back to me and i mentioned it to pops to damien i mentioned it to him i was like baby i said you noticed that he was like yeah baby y'all got home some things had to be paid and went spent paid it and as soon as i looked up resonated back to me three times today the same amounts that i spent three times so that lets me know money says to me or the energy of money says to me baby i want to be with you i want i want you to be my motherfucking friend i love your energy you take care of me you resonate me it's like a boomerang and if you're afraid of it you ain't gonna never have it you're gonna have a fear of it if you know how to give as well as receive, it's going to usually boomerang. And that doesn't mean I'm giving money and I'm giving... You got to give energy. It's energy, y'all. And when you give it good, you get it back good. You know? And that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It happens all the time. And ain't no boasting and bragging because y'all know that ain't what I'm about. Because I, I can give a fuck about this shit. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but what I'm saying is... Resonate with money, y'all. Resonate with happiness. Resonate with moving and flowing within your greatest good. Resonate with purpose. Resonate. Resonate. If you resonate within madness, you're going to always go down the rabbit hole. If you resonate with fear, you're going to always be fearful of something. If you can't hold on to money and you can get it and as soon as you get it, it's gone. You got to fix your relationship with it. That's the easiest way I can tell you. 
Just like I be telling y'all, y'all be laughing at me when you want to dominate somebody. Domination is not love work. When you like want to dominate somebody's head, domination is skull work. They can't dominate you. So nothing you do can dominate you. Nothing you flow with can dominate you or you ha will have a fear of it. It won't come because you're scared of it. So within it all, y'all, resonate with the energy that you want to resonate with. Resonate with the purpose, the calling, and stop coming to hoodoo for a temporary fix. Stop doing that shit. Stop doing it. That's another thing. You come to hoodoo for selfish reasons. You come here, you come to this walk just because you want a motherfucking man back. You come to this walk because you want to, um, you, don't let me go there. Y'all already know. But you come here and don't have the patience to know that it's not about a temporary fix. It's not about the healing of just you wanting him or you want her in your life. It's the healing of yourself. The healing of money. The healing of spirit. The, the healing of the fit, the mental. It's all of that. And y'all be playing with hoodoo. Hoodoo is not a quick fix. It's not a band-aid. A quick fix is a band-aid. This one here is going inside your soul. Inside your being. And it's a daily walk every day with your ancestors. And if you don't attune to it that way. And if you come to it with a selfish ass spirit. And you leave it just because you ain't getting them back. Or just because it didn't resonate at the time for you. Or just because it was a door that closed. And you wanted it so bad. Bitch, it closed because it was supposed to be closed. Y'all be playing. Y'all be playing. Two months, a month, y'all done with hoodoo. Why you came? If it resonate, resonated with you, there's a reason why you here. Stop playing. Y'all want the magic. You want to do the magic and expect it to be so. But you don't want to sit in it and heal. You just want to play. Just want to play. Mm-mm. Yo, and this is why your shit fucked up. And it's going to always be fucked up because you playing. Y'all playing. And is. All right. So that's the message. Let me get back to what I was doing, um, which is nothing. Just a tuning. Melancholy. But y'all know when I get a message, I'm going to come and tell you again. Stop playing with hoodoo. If you ain't ready, don't even start to walk. It's a, always a constant clipping of energy with something. Let it not be hoodoo. Peace.